Okay, so in this video, I am going to show you how to do Kathy's binding hack. This was invented by Kathy Hubka Pearson Marlowe. If I am horribly screwing that name up, I am so sorry. I hope I said it correctly. Uh, Kathy came up with a pretty genius way to tackle one of the, we'll say, least loved part of by any patterns. Um, we all love Annie's patterns, but the binding gets a gets a very bad reputation. <laughs> it really, the binding just, it takes a lot of practice. That's, that's all it is, but that's beside the point. Let's take a look at this binding hack. This is such a great way to go about binding your bag. So you have your zipper loop and you have your bag front and your bag back and your bias binding. Now, normally in biani patterns that are assembled in a similar way, this is easy does it, by the way. So any pattern that is assembled in a similar way, it has a zipper loop, a bag front and a bag back, you can use this trick. So normally you would assemble your bag and then apply the binding. But in this trick, this hack, we are going to put the binding on the zipper loop first. So instead of working with a big dimensional bag that you have to manipulate through your sewing machine, we're instead going to attach the binding to this much flatter piece. Okay, so on Easy Does It, in the pattern, the binding is on the inside of the bag. So when the binding is on the inside of the bag, you do the binding trick by attaching the binding to the wrong side of your zipper loop. So you're going to be looking at the lining fabric, and you're going to be looking at the back of your zipper. And then you're just going to start close to one of the sides, leave a long tail of binding. If you're a quilter, this is old news to you. You're putting on the binding just like you bind a quilt, basically, except there's no corners. So then you just sew this on with a quarter inch seam. You go all the way around, come back. So you get just past the corner there, and then you join the ends of the binding using your favorite method. So many different ways to do it. Now, if you are working on a project where the binding is on the outside of the bag, and you can do this on this bag too, it's just not what the pattern has you do, but that doesn't mean you can't do it. If you want to have the binding on the outside, you would attach your binding to the right side of your zipper loop. Okay, you'd follow all these same steps. You would just put it on the outside. Okay, but we're going to stick to the pattern here. We're going to put our binding on the inside of the bag. Okay, so I'm going to go attach that to my bag and I'll be right back. Okay, so we have our bias binding sewn on to the zipper loop. It goes all the way around the loop. And the ends are joined. Now I'm only showing you on one side of the bag. You would of course be doing these same steps to the other side of the bag as well. So you'd have two pieces of bias binding here. So the next step is to actually assemble the bag. I'm not going to go over that in detail. This is not meant to be a tutorial on the Easy Does It. I just wanted you to uh, see this binding hack. So in the pattern, it has you um, find the centers of the side and then align it and clip it together. I'm going to go do that off camera and then I'll show you the last bit of putting on the binding. Okay, so I now have my bag front clipped to the zipper loop. It's hard to see. I zoomed in here because I want to show you one more thing before I wrap this up. Um, so once you have this clipped together and you're actually assembling your bag, when you have the binding on there already, and I, I used a different color thread here so you can see what I'm talking about, but now you're going to sew your bag pieces together. It's going to be so much easier to maintain your quarter inch seam because you're just going to go sew along this line of stitching that you already have here from applying your binding. So that's another great thing about this trick. Okay, so that's what you do next. You're going to sew your bag front or bag back to your zipper loop right along this line, all the way around. And then just like you do with every other binding method, you're going to bring your binding around and sew it down. One more thing I want to point out, since like we said before, this binding is on the inside of the bag, so when I'm sewing this all together, I have right sides together. If you were putting the binding on the outside of your bag, you would have the wrong sides together. 
Okay, so that is Kathy's binding hack. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, if you are not already in the Buy Any Bag Makers group on Facebook, I'm going to put a link in the description. Uh, it's a pretty awesome group, if I do say so myself. I'm probably a little biased since it's my group, but uh, it's, uh, it's a great place, very supportive. Whether you are new to buy any patterns or you are a pro, it's a lot of fun. We share pictures of our bags and ask questions, and Annie herself is in the group, so that's pretty cool. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.